What is going on, everybody? It's Mr. HD here, back here for another episode of Drift That Spot. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I know this is going up on a weird day. I think it's going to go up on Monday uh, or Sunday, one of those two days. And I really don't have a schedule anymore, and I kind of went to shit. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to that as soon as I can. Um, I'm kind of prioritizing streaming a little bit more. Um, even my streaming schedule is fucked this week. So just give me some time to uh, get my bearings back, and uh, I'll do my best to bring you guys regular content again. Uh, I'm definitely not quitting. That's not what this is. I'm just, you know, need a minute or two to get back on my feet just with uh, being out of town for like two weeks straight. Um, anyway, we are, this is a spot that we found in a stream. I was a bitch to find this thing again, but uh, we are basically in the T-Rex zone here, the Jurassic jungle. Um, you're going to want to go to right about where the dino spin out, dino spin out speed zone is. Um, and we're going to be facing what you can see on the map that we're facing towards what is it called towards the T-Rex tear up circuit race. So you're going to go one shot away. Uh, as always, I'm going to jump in the drone. I know everyone loves it. Um, but this section is not, it's, it's, it's about showing you guys how to do the section. Not just, Hey, look cool. Oh, this looks nice. That was a way better intro. Gosh, darn it. You can even see the T-Rex in the background. Um, I'm using a, I think it's about 500 horsepower 4 AG uh, A86 today, um, just because I this is kind of toge ish, but definitely not a low horsepower section uh, like the first one we did was our lower horsepower section. Let's say, okay, so you're gonna start on this gray patch here, um, and then turbo, turbo, turbo. Uh, you're just gonna get some speed, get some speed. Now, basically, this first corner is up to you. I've tried taking it a couple of different ways, and I think it's possible a couple of different ways. Um, but again, it's up to you. Um, you can enter really late and kind of hope to stretch this section. Or you can say, fuck it, uh, do a mid entry right about here, uh, and then just wiggle, senpatsu, manji, whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, this is the corner is up to you. Way more fun for me to run an outer zone. Uh, I enjoy that much more because you can ride the wall all the way out um, but if you want to run an inner clip too uh, it's also fun that way oh boy don't fall out of the zone oh I can go really high now eh yeah boy um, you're gonna see you see where the tire marks are um, you're gonna want to come out to the wall but not hit it because you kind of got to ride there's like a little um, if you can see the elevation change there's like a little pocket here right where the orange goes to like the brighter orange yellow I'm fucking not, I'm not colorblind, but people are going to tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but like right here, right where the two oranges change, um, there's like a little pocket of where the banking is not as steep where you can get like a really smooth drift in. If you go too high, it's the banking's kind of too steep and you'll end up straightening out, go too low and it just kind of, kind of screw your line. Um, but regardless of what you do, you can run it out to this wall. You can either do a long wall drag or just a little, just a little kiss. Uh, and then this is a part I've been experimenting with and it works like every 50% of the time. So this corner, yeah, whatever fun, woo, just like a, you know, 90 degree right hand corner, nothing special. Um, and then you can kind of, if like in this car, at least I'm making it work where if I just mash the throttle and kind of wiggle a little bit, uh, I can make this corner work without breaking drift and then add another left hand turn into it. Um, just for added, you know, more skids, but, um, and I guess if you, if you wanted to, you could do a little Sanpatsu, a little Sanpatsu, uh, and then, you know, you can keep it going and keep it going, but, uh, I wanted to end the section right about here just cause I don't like drifting straightaways. It's so fucking awful and, and, and breaks flow. We're going to give it a try to see how long we can go. But uh, if it's awkward, like I feel it's going to be, and now that I've seen it in drone, I'm like, mm, maybe it's possible. That's the only reason I'm saying that. But uh, it looks shit. So uh, here we go. Again, this is pretty high horsepower for what it is. Um, you know, sport tires as, as normal. Oh, I went to... Oh, I need to itch my eye. No. Okay, we're going to come in with, like, not a whole lot of speed here. I went to pause, and you can't really do that. So, like, a late entry, yeah, like, this is a really awkward entry uh, when you're trying to stretch it. If you want to do, like a, like, a manji type deal, uh, it definitely works out. It's easier. Um, yeah, see so if you ride too high there, like I was a little high and the car kind of got unsettled. Um, but here comes the tricky part. Like you can keep it going if you use your e-brake and, you know, don't pull too much angle. 
can keep it going. So this is new. I've not tried this yet. That's all right. We're learning together here. Actually, you know what? That wasn't that bad. And then down to the flat here. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It was definitely really high speed and banging the limiter. Um, which kind of sucks because I was like, oh, this is kind of like a toe. Yeah, so. Right here. So you can see it on the map from dyno spin out speed zone to here. Um, it's not bad. Um, it's fun coming the other way as well. I'm just lazy. But, uh, oh my god, my eye. Please stop this. I need to see things. But. Um, it's a little awkward after, like, on the entry, and then it's a little awkward, um, trying to stretch that to that zone, or that new piece that I've not done yet, but we're gonna come in with some speed this time, 115, one, oh, little big old 120. See, that not as weird, but you have to be very careful on the angle, because if you throw lots of angle, you're not gonna make that, or you can just, like, like I said, manji it and do that, but I just hate manjing. I really do. Or I oh, a little fucking wall tap on the inner wall. So like this is possible. I just did it without breaking drift, without straightening. I obviously just straightened there, and it was kind of oh, oh buddy, and it was actually kind of awkward on the first run. But I honest, I was doing practice, and I did it without breaking drift. So I don't know. Um. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying running it in reverse. Um, I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, counter steer throttle. This is easy. And the car is like, I have a shit ton of power and no weight. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of got to pay attention to that. Um, yeah, definitely, even though it's a downhill and, like, it's kind of a toge-ish, um, definitely, for me, and at least in my recommendation, I don't think... This will be fun with low horsepower. I think it's possible, maybe, but I don't think it'll be as enjoying or as fun as something with like a mid to high horsepower. Like this isn't crazy. I know there's probably some nerds out there with like 800 horsepower in their hotchies, which is just absurd. Um, but you know, like I said, this is a turbo 4 AAG running about, I think it's like 480 horsepower, which is definitely high. Especially if it's like a fully built 4AG. Definitely, definitely high horsepower, but I am O, in my opinion. It is a fun combo for this track. Um, this track, this section, I should say. I fucking. What? You what, mate? Okay, no, that's not. We're not. Nope. I didn't think that I got off throttle thinking that I was going to swing wide and the car just did not swing wide, even though I apexed, I apexed late and I figured it would just come wide and it just did not do that. Um, <laughs> I, I swear to God, like it's pretty late. Uh, it's like 1.30 in the morning. Um, I practiced for about 10 minutes before this. I had to try, I was using a VOD from a stream and I had to figure out where it was from seeing the VOD, but I couldn't see half the fucking screen. That's what I wanted to do. Bring it wide, drag that e-brake, foot brake, bring the car wide, a little wiggle there, it's fine. Wall tap, that's the good stuff. Swing it wide again, run that little pocket. Didn't quite tap the wall, we got close. So I'm just going to do a little wiggle here. Didn't really brake drift, but definitely lost angle. That's what I meant. Like, it's totally possible to do it without completely 100% breaking your drift. But it's you gotta lose angle. You can't hold whatever angle you want. Bang in the limiter. Didn't really bring it out wide in that little blue to or orange to blue zone. I don't know. I don't like this second half. To me, it's just like too high speed. It gets really boring. Um, so I'm gonna say cut it off. Originally, where I said to cut it off, we will turn around here. Um, that looks. Oh, that's an, another episode waiting to happen right there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say cut a, cut it off right here. So if you see where we're going, it's right after that right-hand corner. You can keep going if you want. It just isn't fun for me after that. I don't like drifting where you're full throttle all the time. And it's like you have to force your car. 
Uh, you either have to run ridiculous amounts of horsepower or force your car to make sections. Um, this DLC has lots of potential for sections that, you know, aren't super high speed and boring. Uh, so we're trying to stay away from that. You know, it's if you want to bang the limiter in fourth, doing 110 while you're drifting, you can go drifting on the mainland for that. You don't need me. Um, we'll do one more run here. Like I said, this car is pretty well suited, honestly. And then once you get the entry down, the entry is the hardest part. You just got to learn where to enter. And then use your e-brake and your foot brake to keep you wide. Bring it to the wall. And then you can get away with a really aggressive flick there just because of the bank. And then I didn't bring it out wide enough, so this is going to be a little awkward on the e-brake. And then foot brake to transition. Fantastic. Like, this part isn't so bad. This little shimmy right there. But as soon as you get past this blue here, it's just like revving the nuts off it. At least in this car, it's just not fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm going to show you on the map where you can go to do that if you haven't been paying attention. Um, so you're going to want to fast travel to the dyno spin out speed zone. Basically right behind where the, the emblem is. So boop right there. And then just follow the track. Follow the track how the track goes. Don't turn right here. Right's for losers. And then doop doop ba 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 da 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 And it should spit you out right there. I don't know why I'm over here. Oh, right, because I tried going. That's why. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have sections that you'd like to see in an upcoming video, please, 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 please check me out on Discord. There is a link below. Um, you can check out the link below and there is a subsection called Drift That Spot Submissions. Right now, Beige has an entry in here. Pretty good what he's done. He took a uh, screenshot of where the section is, showed me a line to take. Um, no visual reference, which is kind of annoying. But um, just follow the form that's pinned on the page and you could see your section in an upcoming video. So thanks guys very, very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.